All right, so this video is for those of you who have chosen to do a really complex design. We're going to show you how to do the double diagonal. All right, so in the previous video, it helped you set up your one inch border. And so now you're looking at your square and you want to know how to do that double diagonal. Well, your square is 10 inches. What's half of 10 inches? I hope you just said five. For me, I have a six inch square, so I'm going to use three, but you're going to use five. So I'm going to line up my zero on the edge of my square. It's very important, All right? So you can see that it's a six. I'm going to just mark at the three. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to mark all my sides at the three. You are going to be marking your sides at the five. So you're going to make five, four marks at the five inch mark. Now, once you've made your four marks at five inches, you're going to just take your ruler, and this is a line that you're going to get rid of. So you don't want to draw it really dark. You're just going to go straight down the middle and straight across. Essentially, you've created your uh, plus sign in the middle of your square. You've divided your square into four quadrants, and this is how you get that double diagonal. All right, remember the project is requiring that we use a quarter inch. So what we have to do is we have to start going around all of our sides and marking at the quarter inch. So you really have to know where your quarter inch is. I'm on the side of the ruler that's using the ace. Many of you have been asking, what's the difference between this side and that side? This side is marked with the eighths. So there's less lines. So the quarter inch is the second longest line. If you're on this side, it's marked at sixteenths, which then shows the little lines because there's 16 lines between an inch. Okay, doesn't matter which one you do. But you also have to mark the quarter inches going down your cross, okay, or your plus sign. Everything has to be marked. So I'm going to speed this up. I've already taken the time. Ah, there's an eighth. See, I messed up. So I've already taken the time to get ahead. And so this is what it's going to kind of look like in a little bit. All my sides have been marked with quarter inches and the plus sign. Now, I'm going to treat each one of these like it's its own square. And if I do that, then they're all going to line up eventually. So the first line I'm going to do is I'm going to draw actually from the center of the plus to the outer edge of this square. Now this is where it gets tricky. You've really got to line up your ruler to the edges. Now remember, we don't draw through our curve line. Okay. Now, I'm just going to play connect the dots. Each time, I'm going to line up a dash with the dash on the plus sign. And so my ruler just kind of slightly slides. Remember, don't draw through your curve. Okay. Now, I'm going to do it on the other side. Same thing. I'm going to start with the center of the plus and take it to the outer edge. And then, again, taking the time to line up my ruler each time. And I would just go through all the squares the exact same way. I would draw with pencil first. Always an erase a mistake with pencil. Sharpie, you can't do that. So, and you just continue to build around and then you fill in the gaps in between. So then I would go, I like to do just one side first and then I go back and do the other side. So I'm just lining this guy up. And then I would fill in one side and then go back and do the next. 
Okay, and so that is how you start to do your double diagonal. Okay, just make sure you always line up your ruler and continue to draw. All right, see how many of you will take that challenge.